Hello from Frank. This is now the Commodore 64 from my friend Tony. And this is a new board. Uh, probably this is uh, one of the last uh, revisions. Not the very last because it still has the, the color RAM here which has not yet integrated in the big chip that substituted also the PLA and it has uh, the LEDs, the bus transceiver for, for the color RAM it is a quite uh, new board, one of the last of the Commodore 64 life this is 250469 uh, assembly number and PCB number 252311 okay let's go this is marked as a RAM, RAM problem hmm. and let's see what happens no no not very good yeah indeed it may be indeed run problem. We'll see. Okay, what we see here, first of all, this is the two RAM chips, and uh, it has been repaired once, it seems, and soldering of these uh, chips is uh, very poor, in my opinion. So, first of all, I will redo all the solder joints and see what happens. Uh, what we did in for this one is first checking chip temperature with your fingers usually it gives you one idea if something is really wrong well here the problem seems to be DC uh, CIA 65 uh, 26 which is very hot and with the current probe with the current probe we see it it is on these pins it's getting very high current uh, those pins are data data pins so let's see with the oscilloscope what the signal look like okay what we see there are some places where the signal is really really low so this one is pulling probably the CIA is probably pulling down some data and I'm going to remove it because it gets really hot anyway so that shouldn't be there must be something wrong let's see what happens here it is new 6526 in place and looks good so far and let's load the usual program and see what happens okay the test is running but notice the wrong color in this column and the but the color ram it's tested and it says it's okay everything else works and you see the wrong color wrong color wrong color wrong color wrong color wrong wrong everything is wrong color hmm that's need some troubleshooting. That needs some troubleshooting. And I guess I'll write a little program uh, to test the color RAM in basic because I don't know if this one does the test as, as it should, but. I believe so. 
this problem this problem might be the coloram or the bus transceiver but since the program doesn't detect this RAM as faulty I believe this this is the the VIC which is a new version so I cannot test the old VIC chip in place of this one they are not very interchangeable because this one runs without the 12 volts mm. so I'm not sure uh, I might change the brass transceiver and the color RAM but I believe the, the fault is this one I'll write a little test program myself to read the entire RAM and see write and read the RAM and see what happens but anyway it seems there is more to work on this one new color RAM is in place and it was the problem we have completed this repair it seems it was the problem so this program doesn't test very well the color RAM okay let's turn down the volume and make the test run I want to exp explain what I did and why I decided to change the the color RAM I made um, a little basic program to test the address range where the color RAM is mapped into the CPU address space which is in hexadecimal this is D800 to DBFF and it is only the four uh, lowest bits so the the lowest nipple what I discovered with the, the a small program is all addresses if tested singularly are okay but there's some uh, or some address lines that is that aren't working and so if you write one location you actually can read what you write uh, at uh, two five six uh, bytes interval so there is some addresses that are not working and if a program doesn't test the whole uh, address range for possible uh, uh, address conflict like in this case uh, cannot discover this kind of a problem it, it was uh, it was a good thing to try anyway so this one is okay and we'll see the next one bye bye